Greetings, YouTube. Last Gunslinger 3759 here. Uh, as promised, I'm doing a video of my Bushmaster MPW, all right, uh, with accessories that I've purchased. Now, these accessories I've purchased over time. I did not buy them as soon as I got this. I've had a few of them beforehand, okay? Uh, now, I'm going to go through each of the uh, accessories. Now, the one that I got first uh, is the most important. Uh, this is mil-spec, which means anything that you can put on an actual uh, M4 or M16, you can probably put on this thing, as long as it's not anything internal. So, anything to do with the magazines, anything to do with the grip, anything to do with the stock, all right, you're going to be able to replace it if it works on a real M4. All right, now this is the stock that came with the Bushmaster initially. And while it is, you know, very much a traditional M4 stock, didn't work real well. I wasn't real impressed with it. Uh, the retention wasn't all that great. Uh, this spring is very weak, all right, for the detent to lock it in place, all right, and it wiggled an awful lot. I mean, we had play this way, and we had play this way. And it wasn't very stable. Also, uh, I actually carried an M4 for a good decade uh, while I was in the Air Force, and I never liked this butt plate. This butt plate is very hard plastic, and while, yes, it's usable, it's not comfortable over time. So if you're going to fire multiple rounds from a real steel uh, weapon, you do not want hard plastic here. It's going to bruise you, okay? I, I Trust me, I've had several bruises to prove it. So, uh, this is the first thing that I got rid of. All right, so put that over here. So let's take a look at the stock first. And we can just pop this off real quick. Ugh. All right, so it comes off very, very easily. Uh, as with the normal one, all you need to do is take this lever, pull it to the reverse instead of just switching positions, and you just pull it straight off. Now, this is a stock... I just found on eBay. It is called a minimalist stock. It's a no-name brand, uh, probably made in China. But for what I got it for, uh, which is, I believe, about $17 with free shipping, it's, it's pretty good. Um, so let's go over the features. You have a rubber butt pad, all right, which is bolted on with some hex, hex nuts, all right, and it is comfortable. And yes, you can put this on real steel, and it would probably be more comfortable than a normal M4. Uh, you have your your locking mechanism so that you can slide any um, amongst the uh, six different positions. Okay. Now, one of the interesting things is on this one, all right. In order to mount a sling, you'd have to strap it through this little hole here, all right, and the strap would go around here. Not the best thing. I like having quick detachment, all right? But I also like it to be stable. So what I did was I like the fact that this actually have a quick release socket for a sling, okay? Now, if you get one of these stocks, in order to put it on, I had to figure this out myself because there were no instructions. There is a button. You see the threading here or the jimping, all right? You're actually gonna push this in, it's spring-loaded, and once you push it in, you'll be able to push this all the way down, and that will allow you to put it onto your buffer tube. Real steel or Bushmaster, okay? And then you release it, it clicks back into place, and it locks it in place. Now, uh, as you can see, it's built to fit a standard mil-spec buffer tube, okay? And it has, apparently there's a patent pending. I'm not really sure. But this is what attracted me here. Uh, apart from the styling and the fact that it has a rubber butt pad, it has this. And it is an ambidextrous socket system for a quick release sling mount. Okay. Now, this is another accessory I'll be putting in the link. I got these off Amazon. I believe they come um, one socket and one ring for, I believe, $8 or so. I'll double check that. Um, probably should have done a little bit more research as to all the prices of the things because I've gotten them over the past month and a half. But what you can do with this is there's a spring-loaded button in the center here. 
All right, and when you push it down, it takes these two little, or actually four, four, three. It takes these, these three little ball bearings who are under spring tension, and it pulls them in so that you can stick it into the socket. And then when you release the button, it's locked in. It won't go anywhere. All right. So I uh, have one of the, you know, one of these here. And then the other one is the socket that actually attaches to a Picatinny rail on the front of the gun. And you'll see that, but it works perfectly for, a, for the sling mount. All right. It's very, very comfortable. It's very adjustable. It's very cheap. You can get two of these slings uh, in a two pack for about 11 bucks. All right, uh, off of Amazon. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, it just comes with the uh, the sling itself and the two spring-loaded hooks. It does not come with this ring. That is a separate purchase. All right, but very cool. Now, of course, as I said, love to accessorize. So uh, I went with uh, a little bit more. I'm not going to call it fancy. <laughs> Some would call it preposterous, but even more minimalist. I uh, went with this stock. No idea who makes it, all right? But again, rubber butt pad, all right, comfortable. Very, very light because it's completely skeletonized, all right? Where they could take off plastic, they did. Still has the retaining ring, all right? Just like the other one, all right? And it's ambidextrous. You can use it on both sides, all right? The, uh, the spring, all right, is not as strong, but it's more effective than the original. And this one... Uh, is a little, I guess, a little less secure because in order to put it on, you literally just depress this further than you usually would, and it just slides right on. And doesn't look half bad, to be honest. All right, it's sixth position, just like normal. Okay. All right, it has a slimmer profile than the other one, but works well, I think. Uh, and that one, I believe, I also got for around the same price. About, uh, about $17. And again, these are all able to be mounted on real steel. So I suggest you, you know, check that out. If you have a real M4 or Bushmaster, anything that has a mil-spec buffer tube and a positionable stock. <clears throat> so that's the stock and the uh, sling ring and the sling. So let's move a little bit forward now. Um, what we got? All right, so a little bit forward, we look at the grip. Now we have a grip wrap here. All right, this is just a thin layer of rubber. All right, I didn't find the texturing on the uh, the original handle to be all that good. I actually had this on all of my rifles, my DPMS, uh, my Steel Strike, and this one, of course. And it's just a thin layer of stretchable rubber that you just stretch over the handle. Form fits to uh, any of the, you know, the accents of the grip. Makes it a little bit grippier. Uh, according to advertisements, when this gets wet, it actually gets grippier. I haven't really tested it because I'm not going to take this out in the rain, but I believe it. Um, but this is about eight bucks off of Amazon, and you can use that for pistols. You can use that for rifles. Pretty much everything and anything you could actually stretch it over will fit. Okay. Now I also have another little thing under here, right? Uh, the this handle is actually hollow, so it's kind of a missed opportunity to not use it for any type of storage. Now, I have nothing in there now, but you can put a CO2 capsule, although this one, the magazines run on two. Not really sure why you would put one in there. You can put tools in here. You can put uh, BBs in here, whatever you want to do, but this is just a plug. All right, now, in order to get this to go in here, you want to put a little, just I mean, just a bare amount of silicone oil. So it doesn't rot the rubber, all right? As you can see, it's gasketed so that it'll fit. Well, you just put it into the end of any mil spec M4 handle. Just give it a little push, all right? And the silicon oil will let it go in real smooth. It's flush. It fills in your handle, all right? And gives you a, a place to store something, uh, such as Allen wrenches or tools, all right? For your rifle, which is pretty cool. All right, uh, next on board is my magazine. Now, uh, this is an interesting little accessory. Uh, this is made by Missouri Products. And it is just, it's rubber, all right? It's a high-grade rubber, but it's rubber. Let's see if we can get 
Missouri Tactical Products. All right, and I will have a link in the description. This will work on any standardized uh, M4 magazine. It will work on pretty much any same any of the same style type of magazine because it will stretch. Uh, reason that you want to that I want to put this on here is because with the magazine, this part of it does come up and come off. All right, so just in case, at some point the the uh, parts in here that actually retain this part on here all right where to break i want to make sure that i can keep it on there without having to buy a whole new magazine also when you put one of these on here it also gives you the ability to use the bottom of the magazine as a rest okay so when you put this down and you can't really see because it's not focusing when you put this down this actually remains flat but keeps the rifle level so if you actually don't have a bipod or anything else like that you can actually use the magazine for support and it's actually meant to do that because this flat end will actually go onto the surface and keep your rifle completely level as you can see there so nice little attachment this comes in a pack of three for uh eight dollars eight dollars and 99 cents i believe all right uh, good bargain i think it makes it look cool too all right very tactic cool as uh as another youtuber would say all right, so moving forward or backward. So uh, we have the scope here, which I'll get to in a second. But if you don't want to use the scope or the scope is failing you, you need backup sights. So we have iron sights, 45 degree angle iron sights. Okay, they pop up with a spring loaded button. Okay, they do have the, oh, they do have the larger and the peep aperture all right they are adjustable for windage left and right and they are the front is adjustable as uh the same thing as an m4 for elevation all right uh, i've got these set up pretty good uh, they came in pretty well zeroed for my purposes all right but i do like the way that they look and if you know i want to detach detach the stock or detach the uh the scope, I don't have to worry about putting the, any other sights on. They're already right there. And it doesn't interfere with the mounting of the stock or the scope. Why do I keep confusing those words? So speaking of the scope, okay, uh, this is a red dot, blue dot, and green dot scope. All right, it has all three. Uh, I can't really show it to you. can't really angle it. But uh, this has red, blue, and green. All right. It comes with the included battery. Uh, it's a, just your basic uh, watch battery. I think it's an LR44, all right? And it does have different brightness settings here, uh, windage and elevation. And it comes with the, uh, the covers installed. And I believe this one was really cheap. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. I'm not gonna speculate. I probably should have done the research before doing the video, but uh, it does go on to the rail system with just a tightening nut right here. Uh, it just goes on there and you can just hand tighten it. It's very stable, right? Doesn't go anywhere, doesn't loosen. I'm not really sure how well it would work on a real steel since uh, I haven't really cranked on it with a wrench, but it would probably hold up. But I know that it holds zero for, for airsoft and uh, air guns, so no problem there. Uh, moving forward, we have the Penti laser sight okay that i put a video up for last night so if you want more more detail on that one you can go there uh however um we have the uh the pressure switch now mounted so the pressure switch is going to go through the end cap instead of the the uh, clicking switch and it ends up with this uh micro switch in this rubber encasement all right and just you can feel it click barely but what we've done here is instead of using the enclosed velcro which was poor the adhesive uh, had either gone bad or gotten too old and I couldn't even pull it off the label sheet uh, without tearing it uh, I have used something different and I try to close up on this if you can see this what I've used is something called a 3M command strip. 
All right, uh, usually use these for hanging pictures. I've used them for hanging Nerf guns on a wall. I've used them for uh, putting up battery charges against a wall. It does not mark. You can pull these off without destroying anything. But the neat thing is, is basically it's an improved version of Velcro without the fuzzy side, which will eventually stop uh, with the hook and loop closure. It will not work anymore eventually. If it gets dirty, it will not work. So these actually interlock. Let's see if you can hear it. All right, it actually snaps in together. All right, you can reposition as much as you want. It'll never wear out, all right? And when you click it in there, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's super stable, all right? Even with Velcro, it will wiggle a bit and you will get that ripping sound. This you will not get unless you pull it straight forward. And so up and down, left and right, not gonna go anywhere. Now I have it attached to a folding uh, foregrip, all right? This is another no-name uh, company. I don't know who makes it, but I got it off of eBay, and I will be putting a link in the description. This, I believe, is under $9, all right? Um, free shipping, and it is all polymer, and it has some neat tricks. Uh, first of all, of course, it, it actually folds flush and clicks. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. It clicks into the Picatinny rail to actually hold itself. So it actually clicks in. So it's super stable and it's almost like it's integral. All right. So really, really like this foregrip. I have this particular foregrip on all of my rifles, uh, every one of them. And for eight bucks, I mean, you can get a bunch of them and not even worry about it. Uh, simple attachment. It's got a uh, returning bolt. And this is the nut on this side bolt on this side comes with the allen wrench to tighten it down just slide it onto your rail system does have a neat trick not really sure how useful it would be uh, but uh, what you can do with this is when it's folded down and i'll move this over you can see this piece here this right here all right now this is actually a button now what it does is when you're using it, you can actually take the end of this foregrip and you can pull it out. Now, it does seem to have enough length on it to possibly be, you know, the same type of thing as the end of the magazine, which was stabilizing, all right? You can put it down, it would actually stand up. It's got a flat end on the end of it. Or possibly it's just a way of extending the grip, but I like to think that it's actually uh, to stabilize the weapon if you have it, you know, on a surface. And then to release it, you just pinch the two buttons on either side, and it just disappears back into the handle. All right, uh, ready to be deployed again. So it's uh, it's really interesting uh, how that works. But for eight bucks, I mean, come on, can't go wrong. Eight dollars for that? That's nuts. So, oh, okay. So I think I'm having an issue here. That might have been the command strip that was giving a problem. Because it looks like the spring tension on the... Oh, I might have to do that over. Because it's not closing all the way. There we go. All right, I'll probably have to redo that. Because we don't have to have the whole length of the command strip. But I might as well show you how easy this is to pull off. There's no residue. All right, it will stick there. It will not stick a second time once you pull it off, all right? But they're easily replaceable. Like I said, you can get 12 of them for like 12 bucks. And I only used half of one strip for this. So there you go. And we'll snap that back in place. And then, of course, on the other side, uh, let's bring it over to the other side so I can show you better. All right. So, of course, we have the tactical light. You've seen this before. On many of my other guns, this is a tactical light from NCCC through Amazon. It is uh, $19, free shipping, prime. All right, uh, 300 lumens. It does have the on and then a strobe. Strobe is pretty effective. 300 lumens is more than enough to blind somebody in close quarters. And, of course, it attaches to your rail system with a quick release. It has a spring-loaded lever. Set it onto the rail. Pull the lever, pull it back, and it will snap into place on one of the teeth. Okay, so, um, and then of course you have the, this is the other part of the retaining ring that I spoke of earlier. 
all right, is just simply a socket that attaches to your rail system with a screw, just like any other rail system attachment. And when it's in there, it stays there. And then, of course, it does come with one of these, okay? Put this in, push the, the button in, it locks it real tight. It's not coming out unless you want it to. Okay. All in all, uh, this, uh, let's see, if I had to tally it up, 164 for the rifle. All the other attachments, probably 60 bucks, 70 bucks. You know, not including the second stock. But all in all, you know, the things that you can do with these air guns, with the attachments that are available, you do not have to spend $130 for a green laser sight. You do not have to spend $90 for a stock. This is not real steel, so it doesn't have to have the same tolerances for real ammunition. All right, so you can, you can go cheap, and you can have a really cool-looking gun that looks different than everybody else's. All right, and you can accessorize this yourself. Make it yours. All right, make it look like your rifle. Don't make it look like anybody else's. Don't make it look like mine. All right, do what you do with your gun. Make it what you want it to be. All right, and of course, if you look at any of these accessories on Amazon, there's going to be a lot of suggestions for other attachments that are along the same lines. Bipods, uh, other scopes. Uh, I'm going to be showing the uh, accessorized version of my DPMS. And my steel strike, all right. Now, steel strike's not going to have all that much uh, because I really haven't gotten that much for that gun. But the DMP, DPMS is going to have a lot of the same accessories here. A couple different ones, uh, of course. You can't change the stock out. Unfortunately, that's kind of a letdown. Even though the stock is good, it's cool. It would be nice to have some choices. But uh, that's my video on the accessorizing of the Bushmaster MPW by Crossman. And I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, uh, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Uh, I'll be putting videos out as soon as I'm available to actually do them. And uh, the more requests I get, if you have any suggestions um, for what you want to see, uh, I can see if I can make it happen. Um, I do work 40 hours a week, so I'm not rich, but you know, if it's something that it's uh, that I think would be a real cool addition to my collection, I will try to grab it and I will try to do a review of it for you. Uh, if you have any accessories like these, uh, anything that you would suggest, let me know. If you have any other bargains or uh, anything that really impressed you, let me know in the comments. Give me a link. I'll check it out. Um, give you a shout out. Uh, again, shout out to Dan at True American. True American. I keep saying that. True Canadian Air Guns. Uh, Dan, I hope you're, uh, you're okay. Uh, Dan, you'll have to check out his channel. I'm not going to burst his bubble, but he had a little, uh, little bit of an issue this past weekend. So I'll let you check that out on his channel. Hopefully he'll be putting up some videos real soon. Um, but uh, shout out to him. Hopefully he's going to enjoy some of these uh, accessories on his DPMS and Bushmaster MPW. Um, and... Uh, well, as always, stay smart, stay safe, and stay on target.